Welcome to Potoka Valley Spotlight. I'm your host, Blake Ziegler. In our first show, we'll spotlight news, events, and sports from various schools in the Potoka Valley Career and Technical Co-op. The Forest Park Musical, they have been hard at work preparing for their spring musical of Shrek. It's going to be lit as Yolanda had a chance to catch up with some of the stars in the upcoming show. Last year was pretty cool. It was like rock and roll stuff. And this year, I mean, it has a little bit of that. Um, shows we had were more dance heavy than this one, where it's mostly uh, vocally demanding more than anything. Uh, I get to run into the crowd during one song. Um, Shrek's like dragging me out of my tower and we run around the stage like into the crowd and I stand in front of the whole crowd like off stage and sing to all of them so I think that's really cool. That would either have to be like my first entrance when I break out of the outhouse and sing oh, Big yeah. Bright Beautiful World or when I sing Build a Wall. Oh god, I don't want to, I'm like I know I'm going to be a wreck after the show because this has been such like a big part of uh, my high school. In there, and then I saw that uh, there was this Shrek mascot thing, like so someone in a suit wearing Shrek, and I was so little I cried, it scared me, he was going around taking pictures with everyone, it really freaked me out, so I just, it kind of ruined the movie momentarily for me, but then when we did it, when I watched it again, I really enjoyed it, so I'm excited for the musical coming up. If you want to see the cast perform Shrek live, you can see them at the Forest Park Auditorium on March 17th through 19th. Every year, our area schools invite exchange students with the chance to explore the world and learn with us here in America. Here's Justin Young with more on Northeast Dubois' guests from the Netherlands. So, T. Yes. How do you say your name? Shit's good, possibly. That's going to be hard to say. Okay, so you're in a foreign exchange student from Netherlands, correct? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what it's like over there? Well, we have our high school system is based on levels. So it's just way harder, especially the higher you go. So you also have uh, five years instead of four years. And it's the highest one is even six years. You do a lot of homework. You don't have any school sports, so the American high spirit, I, I love it over here. Um, I think that's probably the biggest one. The, yeah, just how difficult it is. So what's daily life over there like in Netherlands? Daily life, well, ever, every schedule, like day schedule, it's different. So over here you just have every day the same, like, periods. Every day in the Netherlands is different, so sometimes you'll be out like you're, you'll be done with school way earlier. But most of the time you just go to school, come back home, do your homework, and if you play any club sports, like soccer, I used to play a lot of soccer, you play your soccer in the evenings, and that's about it. It ain't that much, like, you know, I had a lot of homework, so I didn't, I didn't work or something. So you like America better in Ireland? Or? Yeah, I like America better. It, it's awesome. <laughs> like, all the things you can do and stuff. Like, I, I like to go to uh, basketball games and stuff. It's just awesome. Do they have basketball over in Ireland? We do, but I don't even know any player who actually plays it. Because it's not popular at all. It's just soccer, soccer, and soccer. Justin, world sport. The Forest Park Tracer will be hosting a fundraiser to raise money for the yearbook. Get ready to dig through your closets for a good cause. The Forest Park Tracer staff is having a fundraiser um, February 19th from 2 to 3 in the Commons. And uh, it's basically a formal resale, dress resale um, event. You can bring in your dress for no cost to you. And if you sell it, we just ask for a 5% commission. And to get in the um, event, it will cost $2. If you would like to submit your address, you can contact Skyla McKim by email, or if you have any other questions, contact Olivia Brahmas. Now, here's Robert with a special guest interview with Northeast Dubois senior Cole Scherzinger. Hello, my name is Robert Rodman. I'm going to be interviewing Cole Scherzinger, honorable student. 
and I'm going to be talking about his future plans. So Cole, what are your plans after high school? After I graduate from Northeast Dubois, the best high school in the world, I plan on attending Iowa State University the upcoming fall. So tell me a little bit more about it. At Iowa State University, I want to get a bachelor's degree in animal science. After I get my bachelor's degree, I want to hopefully get admitted to a veterinarian program. Tell me more about Iowa State. Over the summer, I went to Iowa State University for a two-week agriculture camp. I really enjoyed it on campus. I've been to Purdue University probably about 10, 15 times. I thought that's where I want to be until I went to the camp at Iowa State. And it was just realized, I just realized that it was so much better than Purdue. Because of all the nice people, a wide open campus, people weren't crowding you everywhere. Yeah, it all sounds pretty nice. Why do you want to be a veterinarian though? Well, ever since I was a little kid, I've always loved animals. And I always like helping people. So the perfect career I would like to do would be a veterinarian. How many years of college does it take to be certified as a veterinarian? Well, to become certified as a veterinarian, you need at least seven years of college. Well, it sounds like you got your life all planned out. Thanks for letting me interview you. Nice talking with you, Cole. Thank you. Freshman week here, Ethan Zickman from Duke Boys. Um, just a few questions here. One, I compare life at the high school to the middle school. Feels like I've asked you this for like the third time now, but overall, I I'd say definitely the high school is better. It is more homework though, that's downside, but I'd say you know, most people would probably say high school is better. Yeah, I would too. Um, the next question, maybe compare sports from middle school to high school, um, what's different about them? High school is a lot more intense, the sport aspect. You're in middle school, it's kind of just, you know, but you're in high school, it's mm -hmm. a lot bigger of a deal. Yeah, especially the sectionals, the one on us, like attempting yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a key word there. Um, next question is pretty well. Um, how are you liking high school so far? What's your favorite subject? And who's your favorite teacher so far up here at the high school? <laughs> My favorite subject? Probably personal finance, probably the easiest class. Mr. Kinney is probably my favorite teacher, though. All right, all right, sounds good. Do you have a, of the, which sports do you all play and which one have, do you like the most so far? I mean, we haven't gone through the whole year yet, so yeah. you can't really compare. In basketball, sport. baseball, and tennis. I definitely say tennis is better. I've liked tennis better this year. Um, you want to give a reason why you like tennis better? Or? We had a pretty good run in tennis. We won sectional. Mm -hmm. Well, basketball sectional is not over yet. Yeah, that's true, but it just hasn't been as fun. The Forest Park boys basketball team continues working hard to finish the season off. Here's Aaron with more. I would describe this team's success because every day we come in here and work really hard. And we're always dedicated in drills. Everybody wants to win every drill and we just are really competitive and want to win. Well, we started off good with Crawford County, but then we had Tell City, that game was not good at all. And then losing a couple games in a row after Tell City was tough. But after that, I felt like we got better. And the Jefferson attorney, Jeffersonville attorney, helped us a lot with becoming more as a team and just helping us succeed more. And the past couple games have definitely helped us win and all that. Uh, one of our biggest challenges has been injuries. We've had a lot of ankle rolls, sore backs, even disease in the knee with Braden. And we've also had to overcome some depth issues. So 
especially with being injured on many people to sub in and we've just been finding people that we can use each game. Season's been going well. We have progressed throughout the season. We're getting better every day, every game. I'm happy with the guys' progress in knowing the game, in working out, and getting better in their skills. Appreciate their hard work. Come out and support your team at their next game at Forest Park Lakeland Arena against Bar Reeve. And now here was the picks of the week for the girls basketball sectionals 64, 48, and 31. A sectional 64, the first game is Springs Valley versus Northeast Du Bois in the semifinal, followed by Wood Memorial and Tecumseh. Uh, my picks would be Northeast Du Bois is going to take it against Springs Valley, and Wood Memorial is going to beat Tecumseh. And then the final game, I'm going to call the upset. Uh, Northeast Du Bois is going to upset number two team in the state, the Wood Memorial Trojans, and they're going to take sectional 64. No. No, I'm, go I'm going. No, nope, I'm going with Wood Memorial. What about the semifinal picks? Say the same as mine? Yeah, I'm going to go with the same as yours. Okay. And then sectional 48 here. Tell City plays North Posey in the first semifinal game, followed by South Spencer and Forest Park. Uh, i got to go with, mm, that's a tough one. I'm going to say North Posey's going to beat Tell City. And then Forest Park will beat South Spencer, and Forest Park takes sectional 48. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. Um, yeah. And now sectional 31, the last sectional here in the county, as Washington and Princeton play in the first semifinal game, followed by Southridge and Vincennes Lincoln. Uh, I'd say Washington's gonna beat Princeton. I'm gonna get Southridge the upset here. Southridge is beating Vincennes Lincoln, but they're gonna get beat in the final game by Washington and Washington's going to take the sectional title. See, I'm going to have to take Princeton over Washington and um, Lincoln over Southridge and Lincoln winning it all. But the biggest matchup of the week is sure to be the Rock, Paper, Scissors Battle of the Century. Thanks for watching Potoka Valley Spotlight. Do dibs. No, uh I saw them first. No, I did. What are you gonna do about it? There is only one way to settle this. Rock, paper, scissors battle. I'm a, I'm on the block, no doubt, doubt. Natural war hustle, you know what I'm about. I like, like to dedicate this one. The game, and my gang, get it good. If to the police, the, work, you the federal you know, agents. Block, block, you know. Yes! Like this. Come on, man. Wasn't meant to be this way, anyways. It's not right. 